Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about variety of different career opportunities possible after MBBS in India. But why are we even talking about this? Because this is a very common question that strikes the mind of almost each and every medical student. Most of the students think that there are fewer options for MBBS graduate other than clinical and teaching practices. This is a wrong perception, since nowadays medicine is not all about clinical and teaching practices, there are numerous courses available after MBBS which one can perceive and improve his or her career. Let's get started. 1. MD or MS. MD per Mega Siemens is the most commonly chosen path by MBBS graduates who wish to continue with their clinical practice. These postgraduate courses are available in various specialties ranging from medicine, surgery to anatomy. These courses are offered in India by government and private institutions. For this a candidate needs to appear in postgraduate medical entrance exam that is NEET PG. MD or MS course is a three years degree course. 2. DNB. This is also a good option for a MBBS graduate who wants to continue with clinical practice as a specialist doctor. DNB is a postgraduate diploma course offered by National Board of Examinations and is recognized by National Medical Council. For this a candidate needs to appear for postgraduate medical entrance exam that is NEET PG. DNB is also a three years course after MBBS. There are following few challenges in DNB as compared with MD or MS. 1. Passing rate in DNB is considered to be low depending on your course and hospital 2. Many hospitals give preference to MD or MS qualified doctor over DNB 3. DNB courses are offered mostly in private hospitals where the exposure is supposed to be less than government hospitals. 3. Diploma. There exists confusion where to opt for diploma or not. As per latest update by National Medical Council many of the diploma courses in India are abolished. But at present in states like Maharashtra, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Andhra and Odisha diploma courses are offered through College of Physicians and Surgeons CPS. CPS offers fellowship and diploma courses in various specialties. There is separate counseling process conducted by College of Physicians and Surgeons, every year based on NEET PG score for admission to diploma courses. The fellowship courses offered by CPS are for three years duration while the diploma courses are for two years duration. 4. Combined Medical Services CMS. UPSC conducts CMS examination every year for recruitment under central government institutions like railways, Indian Ordnance Services, municipal corporations as a medical officer. Candidates can appear for CMS after completing final year of MBBS degree. Especially in Indian society, the pride, prestige and respect associated with UPSC is far more. It is a good option if you want a permanent job with the government and if you like to be a part of administrative workforce. 5. MBA. Demand for doctors with MBA degree is increasing these days with advent of increasing growth of private hospitals and pharmaceutical companies. Institutions like IIM, FMS Delhi, IBS Hyderabad, MDI Gurgaon offer MBA degree to medical graduates based on merit list of CAT exam. 6. MHA, Masters in Health Administration. It is a three years postgraduate course which helps medical graduates to acquire skills required in managing multi-speciality hospitals, clinics, insurance companies etc. This is a newer career option with a good payback chances. 7. M Tech in Biomedical Engineering and Biological Sciences. This is a very different option for MBBS graduates where instead of attending to patients, they can invent and develop medical machines and instruments for a better health care. Presently this course is offered in IIT institutes. 8. Masters in Medical Science and Technology MMST. IITs also offer MMST along with MTech in Biomedical Engineering and Biological Sciences. This course deals with bioinformatics, medical biotechnology, healthcare imaging etc. 9. Clinical Research. India lacks in field of clinical research when compared with other developed nations. There is an immense need and demand for clinical researchers in India at present. 
Various institutions like ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research, CCMB, Center for Cellular and Molecular Biology, St. John Research Institute offer research opportunities. Institutions like AIIMS, PGI, NIMHANS, Tata Institute of Fundamental Research offer a PhD degree post MBBS. 10. Masters in Public Health. Significance of public health is increasing day by day with more advances in the medical field. This course is offered by TIS Mumbai. This course proves as an alternate option for MBBS graduates. 11. State Public Service Commissions. State Public Service Commission of respective states conduct examination for recruiting medical officers, class 1 and class 2, in government hospitals. 12. Work with primary health centers. MBBS graduates can get a rural posting in rural and remote areas and work as a practitioner in PHCs in their respective states. 13. Self-employment through private practice. MBBS graduates can set up a clinic and start practicing at private level. It is easier said than done as it comes with lot of challenges. Nowadays various hospitals and associations like Apollo Group of Hospitals and Indian Medical Association are offering diploma courses of many specialities ranging from emergency medicine to diabetology on an online-based platform in order to make private practice even easier for MBBS graduates, but one has to be aware that these online, blended platforms are not yet recognized by National Medical Council and are just for giving better knowledge and practicing skills to the MBBS graduates. UPSC, State Public Service Commission examination can also prove as an option for candidates, who want to pursue career administrative services in central as well as state government please make sure to subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Also share your thoughts in comments below. Thanks for watching Smiley Face.